Hey folks, uh, Serge Berger here uh, on the road this week, but I did want to quickly chime in. Had a couple of meetings uh, here so far this week, and um, you know, certainly one of the predominant themes that we uh, we continue to see is is really just a lot of skepticism uh, of this rally. Of course, 2020 has thrown plenty of uh, plenty of curveballs at us, um, and and a lot of uh, cash on the sidelines uh, in addition to uh, actual savings. Um, and we think there is more room into the equity market as we continue to see a melt up. A um, couple charts to kind of put this into perspective. So um, these are individual sectors or groups of equities that we're looking at. And I'm just going to kind of flip through them. I think most of these are going to be weekly charts. Um, and it's just so you can kind of get some perspective. So the first one here is a chart on um, software. Uh, stock. So this is a sector, uh, or it's actually a group of stocks. Uh, the, the ETF is IGV. And uh, what you're looking at here is essentially a, a bunch of stocks that have software stocks that have consolidated now, really since late, uh, late August, excuse me. They've consolidated, which is great because there was a lot of froth in, in, in coming into late August. And that they've now consolidated for you know a couple months at least, two and actually three months at this point. And it does look like they are ready to resolve higher. Now, when we say higher, this doesn't mean this has to happen tomorrow, but through the lens of the next few months, this does look like the path of least resistance continues to be higher. So IGV software uh, software uh, stocks. Uh, moving on, if you broaden this, the, the soft, the, excuse me, the uh, technology sector out a little bit, you can even look at something as simple as the just entire technology sector of the S&P 500, looking at the XLK ETF. Same story here. You see a sector that essentially, and this is a sector, not a group, entire sector, um, essentially found resistance or got overbought, as we call it in, in the technical land, in August, consolidated now for September, October, November, and it does look like the path to least resistance points to the upside for the next few months. Remember, we were also seasonally in one of those strongest periods right now, not only from between Thanksgiving, uh, which is late November, uh, into end of the year, but also really through, let's call it March or April. Again, not in a straight line, but this is kind of a pretty good consolidation pattern. The point is I'm trying to show you this is happening like almost everywhere now. Um, consumer, um, excuse me, communication stocks, excuse me, the XLC ETF. This is a sector again. And um, what you see here is uh, same story, uh, topped in uh, August, and we are now finally seeing a resolve to the upside. And just to kind of, you know, this has now been a, a few areas in the tech in the tech space. Um, you can look at something totally unrelated, which would be consumer discretionary. Uh, same story here. Basically topped out, couldn't really make any headway anymore since late August. And finally, just last week, we are seeing a break to the upside here in, uh, in this particular sector. So if we kind of take all this together, we think the path of least resistance is higher. Again, this does not mean that one has, to, one has to assume tremendously risky positions, but we think the path of least resistance is higher. Um, the unknown unknown is always going to be the biggest risk out there. Remember that? Uh, so it's really a, a, a game of risk management that we're playing here. Um, with that said, I hope this makes sense, folks. I hope you enjoy this, and um, we'll see you again soon.